All right, we're here at 336 South Swall Drive here in Beverly Hills. Uh, we're running our camera from a clean-out that's located on the side of the house. And uh, right now we're all the way out to the city connection, actually in the alley. Sewer line goes to the alley in the back. And uh, what you're looking at is the uh, city sewer right over there. So as we pull our camera back, this is a section of six inch clay lateral coming back. It actually looks pretty clean. This looks good. Uh, we, are, we do have some roots over here. Okay, so there are roots in the pipe over here. These could be <coughs> cleaned out with a hydrojetta. Uh, periodically, you're gonna need to have this hydrojetta. Um, as we come back, it comes to a four inch clay pipe. Okay, now this is now it has a lining in it, a cured in place pipe lining. Um, one thing I must tell you about a lining that you should never run a cable with a blade through it. <coughs> so, if you ever want to clean this line, a cable and a blade is not a good idea because you can break the lining from the inside. It's always best to hydrojet and be very careful when hydrojetting this line. So coming back from here, there is a QRD place pipe lining. This all doesn't look too bad over here. looks pretty all right. So at this time, this looks pretty good so far. short piece of ABS plastic and then right over here. Alex, I want you to start locating over here. Okay, so this we've located uh, underneath the bricks, um, five feet deep over here. It looks like, <coughs> like it's slightly torn up a little bit, the lining over there. I don't know if somebody ran a snake through here maybe. Okay, we're gonna come back. It's pretty crinkled over here. Very badly wrinkled. Yeah, and that left looks like pieces of lining over here. Okay, uh, let let me just pause the recording and locate this. Alex, just go forward a little bit. Okay, stop. Yeah, you see, this is definitely that's piece of. House. That's under the house. Yeah. Well. Okay, so this definitely is lining that's been chewed up. Uh, let me go ahead and locate where we are. Okay, uh, so this we've located under the house. Just pull it back a little bit, Al. Yeah. 3,000 period. Uh, so it's still a lot. Still a lining, yeah. But this looks like a clay pipe. It's not how it yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, it looks like it was a clay pipe here. That's going underneath the structure of the house. And it's been lined, but this yeah. lining is damaged. Back to you. My this is cast iron you know, over here. A, a okay, let me pause the recording here. Okay, so we've located this underneath the house, under the structure. Uh, obviously, it was added on at some stage. Goes from cast iron to clay. They're not allowed to have clay pipe under the house. Coming the cast iron pipe over here. Doesn't look too bad. Then it comes back to ABS plastic. That was probably through the old foundation. He has all ABS plastic, the main line is all in good condition. Oh, it comes back to a little bit of cast iron. Back to ABS plastic. So remember, we cannot check every pipe in the house. You're gonna have your general inspector. He's gonna look and check to see what he sees physically. We check the main line, that's all we can really check. Um, so we do have a few issues over here. 
and we'll write that down in the report. Uh, basically that there is clay piping underneath the structure of the house. It's been relined, but the lining has been damaged. Outside you do have a lining underneath the bricks. It's standing up for now, but there are these big ficus trees outside over there which may cause a problem down the road. There is a little bit of roots in the six inch pipe out in the alley, although the alley looks pretty good. You never want to run a blade through here with a cable, only a hydrojetter uh, through a lining. You have to be very careful with that as well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording over here. We'll probably just recommend that whatever was lined to be replaced. Thank you.